So what if then you were to get yourself a mentor like I did? What if you would get yourself like a confidence coach? What if you get yourself somebody who could help you with your presentations? What would that do for your confidence? What would that do for your profile? And what would that do for what's in your pocket? 42% of people, right, were afraid, afraid of speaking in public. Here's my top tip. Most people don't take responsibility for how they feel. Most people say it's not to do with me. The difference between a great presenter, peak performer, whatever, and somebody who's not so good, poor performer, they're going into that important interview or meeting or presentation, and probably poor physiology as well, and in a weedy voice in the head, they're going, you never know. They might like me. <laughs> they might like this presentation. By the way, if you're doing that out loud, you've no chance. <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. But the other thing they discover, the key part of any strategy is the beliefs that you have. So I just want to share with you a couple of empowering beliefs, or maybe more. So we identify these beliefs that I have that enable me to do what I'm doing now. Because beliefs, you see, the thing about beliefs is this. You know, I'm loath to call it presentation skills, but that's what people are familiar with. But at the Confident Club, we don't really do presentation skills training. We do more like presentation beliefs training. So the idea is that you've got four types of learners, say, in a classroom, or four types of people in an audience. You've got why people. I mean, they're interested in this, but the more important thing is what's in it for me, right up front. They want to know that. So you start your presentation with that. Here's a big reason you need to listen. And he said, I think giving a great speech is like playing jazz. You don't have to like jazz, by the way. It's like playing jazz. It's like you go out, which I've done today, with a tune in mind. But it's okay to go on and twiddle a bit now and again. So rehearse by spontaneous. So give yourself permission to not be perfect. Be a person, not a presenter. What you also need to know is the audience want that too. <laughs> 